Hi, I'm Tim and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this, the GNK Tech Nut Box and it's the G3 model with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of NVMe storage. Now, what we're going to do or what the plan is to do with this is to have it as a dedicated home assistant machine so i'm going to be loading this up with home assistant however in this video we'll go through the specs and the unboxing of this i purchased this with my own money it wasn't donated or given to me by gmk tech i did contact them about doing a collaboration but as a uh, usual with uh, a lot of companies they're probably bombarded with emails about collaborations so they unfortunately didn't get back to me so I decided to purchase this myself anyway so what we'll do in this video is take a look and we'll get it unboxed and have a look at the specs also in this video we're going to be taking a look a quick look at the Sonoff and it's a Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle plus so I'm going to be putting this and attaching it to the GMK tech so that we have Zigbee on the home assistant. I've also purchased an additional NVMe storage and this is the SanDisk SSD plus M.2 NVMe SSD and it's the 250 gigabyte model and it's up to 2400 megabytes a second read speed. So I decided to purchase this and have this with the dedicated storage for Home Assistant. Uh, although you probably know there is already 256 gigabytes of storage in the GMK tech behind me. But what I'll be doing is taking that NVMe out, which is already pre-configured and loaded with Windows 11. So I'll be taking that out and putting it to one side and not using it for a while so I'm just going to be using my own SSD storage for Home Assistant rather than just overwrite the other one with Windows on it I decided to keep the Windows one just in case I need it in future then I can just switch over the NVMe but for the time being I'm going to be using it dedicated for my Home Assistant so let's get to the unboxing now and take a look and have a look at the specs as well so we'll do that now so here we are with the GMK Tech Nutbox G3 model and it comes in a nice presentation box, thick cardboard box with the GMK Tech logo on the front or rather on the top and also the Intel inside logo as well. Around the side we have Nutbox and that's on either side and then on the bottom we have the company which is Shenzhen GMK Technology Co Limited and it's got their address there as well and we also have the barcode label in the bottom right corner which is the model g38 plus 256 gigabytes and that's uk as well so inside the box take the lid off and we have pc itself which is now tightly and neatly gripping inside the box so we take that out and also inside the box we have the polystyrene and cardboard packaging so it's foam well it's not polystyrene I think it's some kind of foam and which has cardboard around it as you can see then underneath that we have GMK tech and it's got a number one logo in the center and on the back there's the warranty card and it's saying if any problems feel free to scan the QR code below and we will offer you the best solution. We also have in the box a wallet which has some paperwork inside so we'll open up the wallet and see what's inside. Uh, we have a booklet which gives you the specifications, descriptions of the ports on the device uh, that's in various language so all different languages so it's just one page basically for each um, language so we'll just put that to one side 
and then also in the box we have two compartments at the bottom two cardboard compartments which we pull out and these contain I presume the cables or whatever so we'll have a look and um, we have a HDMI cable there which was uh, nice to see which has been provided and also in the box we have the VESA bracket so that's a VESA compatible bracket which could be used to mount your PC to the back of your monitor or display whichever you like to refer to it as so that's the VESA bracket and then for the last box so that's the empty box there we have hopefully the uh, power adapter I presume and yes we have the power supply so it's nice to see that the power converter is actually on the plug itself rather than a separate brick so that can be just plugged into the wall and it's a UK style plug so it's nice to see that they've provided a UK style plug and then we have the usual DIN plug which is quite the uh, thick one so, and that's to uh, go into the back of the nut box to power on the device so we'll put all those to one side and we'll just go through the specs and take a bit of a closer look at the uh, PC itself so here we have the PC it's quite light it's compact it's in a nice plastic case nice design and it's got like a uh, what I call a hexagon sort of shape in, embossed into the plastic cover on the top with the Intel inside loco and then GFK tech on the top there now the measurements for this is 114 millimeters by 106 millimeters and the depth is 42.5 millimeters it contains an Intel N100 processor and that's four cores with four threads the CPU also boasts six megabytes of cache and the processor can go up to a maximum of 3.4 gigahertz the power is 6 watts for TDP the GPU inside is an Intel UHD graphics so that's built in the storage is one M2 2280 PCI Express and that's for a maximum of 2 terabytes and also there's an M2 second slot which is a 224 two slot not 2280 and that's SATA by the way and not PCI Express and that can take a maximum of two terabytes for the RAM we have DDR4 and that's rated at 3200 MTS and it's an SO DIMM and there's one DIMM in there for the ports we have three USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports so there's four of those two at the front as you can see here and then we have the other two at the back there there's also two HDMI outputs and those are both rated at 4096 by 2160 at 60 Hertz the DC in is via a 5.5 2.5 millimeter 12 volts rated at 3 amps and there's the power input there it also has a 2.5 gigabit LAN port so that's a 2.5 gigabit not 1 gigabit there's also a 3.5 millimeter audio jack which is a combined mic or headphone jack so it uh, can be used for either a mic or a headphone and the color is you can get them in either green or black I chose the black one however I would say it's more of a dark gray color than black actually I probably wish maybe I should have got the green one but anyway this is gray so it matches the uh, cabinet and other devices what I've got in my network cabinet there's also built-in Wi-Fi 6 and that's via the Realtek 8852 chip and it also supports Bluetooth 5.2 as well it has a built-in RTC battery and as I said the charger is via 12 volts 3 amps so the charger or power supply rather it's not really a charger but it's actually a power supply and that is rated at 12 volts 3 amp so this is 12 volts 3 amp so what we'll do is just 
remove the top cover and you just work your hand away around the top cover and it just pops off with a bit of firm pressure. Don't be afraid to give it quite a good pull as it does actually fit quite very tightly indeed. And as you can see, it does actually pop off. It seems as if it's breaking it, but it's actually not. Hopefully uh, you won't need to remove it very often. So inside we have what it says is at the back, we have it's marked as G3 on this, and that is the USB ports. And we also have the two NVMe slots. And as I said, one is PCI Express and the other one is SATA. The SATA one being the smaller port. So this is the second one. So that's the SATA one. And this is the PCI Express. In the PCI Express one, there is the NVMe storage, which is a branded Lexar one. And it's got a model NM. 620 and it's saying on it it's m.2 2280 pci express gen 3 times 4 nvme ssd and that's 256 gigabytes so as far as the rab is concerned it looks to me like there's an r disk so it looks like it's r disk at the logo here at the left hand side however it's got the 8 gigabytes 1RX8 SN and then it's AD4A S3200 C8 GYN so it looks like it's uh, probably after looking on the internet with that reference number it looks like it's one of the A data branded ones so it could be a data or it could be a generic one, but I, it looks like it's a generic one, to be honest. But uh, anyway, as long as it does the job, it's eight gigabytes, as I say, and then the storage is 256 gigabytes. So what we'll do is remove this uh, NVMe and we'll put in the SanDisk one here. So we'll take this out, keep that to one side and then put in the SanDisk one where we're going to be loading Home Assistant onto it. So that's a quick look at the GMK Tech. So that's basically the Intel NUC GMK Tech NUC Box G3 model. So this will be ideal for running Home Assistant on along with the Sonoff, which I've got a Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle plus. So I'll be using that in one of the USB ports. And what this will do then is hopefully give it access to this Zigbee device so that we can use this AG as a Zigbee to MQTT router. And this I purchased as well myself off the internet. And if you want to know the model number, it's a Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle plus. So it's the plus model and the serial number or the reference number on this is X001GS. 07HT. So that's what I'll be using as the Zigbee connector so we can connect Zigbee devices to Home Assistant and this will be acting as the Zigbee router hopefully. So that's the plan to get it all loaded with Home Assistant and use this as a dedicated Home Assistant PC which I'm sure it will be ideal for with it being low power requirements We'll end this video now and what we'll do in the next video is we'll get Home Assistant loaded onto the SanDisk NVMe storage. So we'll do that in the second video. Hit that bell button and the subscribe button so you get notified of when the next video comes along. Thanks for watching this video. Take care.